Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and first of all, on behalf uh, of the retiring mayor of Windsor, uh, Eddie Francis, I'd like to thank FINA for this opportunity to tell the Windsor story. First of all, I've got to find out how this technology works. But, uh, I, st I start uh, with the front page of the uh, Windsor Star, which is Windsor's daily paper. And uh, yes, that is me. And it's me creating a little bit of local notoriety once again. Um, but it had an important context because I was talking to the city council at the time and they were discussing um, the potential bid for the World Swimming Championships 2016. And I was explaining to them that any city bidding for a major event needs to recognize its, both its strengths and its weaknesses. And the weakness of Windsor would be, where the bloody hell is Windsor? And <laughs> no doubt there are many people in this hall now thinking exactly that. So hopefully I can enlighten you a little bit. It's Canada's southernmost city. It actually is cheek by jowl with Detroit. That is Detroit, Michigan, USA on the left, and it is Windsor, uh, Ontario on the right. They are actually, both downtowns are linked by a tunnel which even, have, even has a service bus that, that links the two cities directly. Um, as I said, the city uh, is Canada's southernmost city. It is Canada's motor city. It, is, it has a long industrial heritage. Um, it still is a motor city, um, and it is indeed the headquarters of Chrysler in Canada. It's the third largest Canadian Great Lakes port, and it sits on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Um, there are seven million people within a two-hour drive, but most of those would be in the USA. Indeed, it is a small city. The city region is 300,000 inhabitants. It has a highly reputable university, 16,000 students, very research-oriented. It also has another history. A bit of a, it was Canada's, renowned certainly 20 years ago, as Canada's sin city the place where Metro Detroiters from over the river found what was forbidden in the USA and in Michigan, be that Cuban cigars or alcohol or gambling. But the Twin Towers disaster 2001 uh, changed all that because of the en enhanced border security measures that came in immediately following that. And then of course, as an industrial city, it was hit hard by the 2008 economic global crash. So even today, Windsor has one of Canada's highest unemployment rates and one of its poorest life expectancy and health and lifestyle uh, statistics. So like all industrial cities or former industrial cities that hit on hard times, just like Manchester, my old and my own city, the city has to refocus and embrace a new vision for economic and social regeneration. And in Windsor's case, this started with the uh, election of uh, Eddie Francis as mayor in 2003, I believe. So one strand of that economic and regeneration strategy was to provide cultural, sporting, and community facilities and services that would make the city an attractive place to live, to work, and to invest. The second strategy would be to change the perception of the city and to enhance the city's national and international image and reputation. Um, <coughs> and indeed, major events and major sporting events would be an important and would play an important part in that strategy. So in the last uh, seven or eight years, the city has hosted a wide range of major events and sporting events. 
the Red Bull Air Race in 2009-2010, through to the International Children's Games in 2013, the Ontario Summer Games in 2014. As, far, as regards FINA events, we, the city uh, embarked in 2012, really, on a four-year partnership with FINA and has uh, a four year, is taking the Diving World Series for four years from 2014 to 2017. Obviously is hosting the next edition of this 25 meter World Swimming Championships and potentially the fourth FINA World Aquatics Convention. Indeed, in the last three years, Windsor, a relatively small city, has invested more than $90 million in aquatics facilities and events. And this includes also national, regional, and uh, local um, aquatics events. The vast majority of that investment went into the Windsor International Aquatics and Training Centre, which is right downtown, right adjacent to all the hotels, uh, which the teams and uh, FIDA will use for the event in 2016. It was also the host venue for the Diving World Series event in May this year. Another major facility that the city uh, has built in, pre in recent years is the WFCU Centre, which is actually an ice hockey arena and a major events arena, but also includes three more community ice rinks and a whole range of community and uh, leisure facilities and cultural facilities. This facility will be the venue for the World Swimming Championships in 2016. But why FINA events? It could have, the city could have partnered with many other sports. Well, firstly, it is a mass participation sport. It has, the major events have global media profile and worldwide participation in terms of the number of countries. It produces significant economic impact. The city could also host the Diving World Series and the World Swimming Championships 2016 without any further capital expenditure. But another important factor also was that FIDA was an international federation that the mayor at that time felt he could do business with. Uh, a sport with a clean image, and one where he could look forward to a long um, and ongoing partnership of mutual benefit. So, where are we at now? After a relatively short ride, the city has some world-class sports facilities and a blossoming sport tourism industry. Recent surveys put it as the number two large city for economic potential in North America and the seventh in, uh, city in the North American Cities of the Future list. It is having, receiving major infrastructure and other investment, particularly in downtown. And from the old industries, it's attracting new industries. The mayor, Eddie Francis, the retiring mayor actually, um, was this year awarded the Canadian Sport Tourism Association Sport Tourism Champion of the Year Award. Hotel occupancy in the city is, it, is at its highest level for seven years. And there is a real and tangible community pride which you will all feel when you are welcomed in Windsor in 2016. And lastly, of course, now many more people know where Windsor is. Thank you very much.